Okay, so today we're going to teach your dogs how to catch. Now, sounds simple, but really isn't. teaching your dogs how to catch. You want to start with a ball that's slightly larger than usual and obviously all your balls that you're going to get your dogs to catch need to be nice and soft so that they're not going to hurt them on impact. Good boy. Okay so you're going to make sure your dog's all wound up by the ball. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Ah, good boy. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to throw up high so it has plenty of air time. Not straight at his face, up. And then he's going to catch it. Yeah. Good boy. Back. 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 Good boy. So once they got the hang of the bigger ball, you then go to smaller items. When they're puppies, and obviously you're expecting a dog to be able to catch anything because they're supreme in terms of their hand-eye coordination, it just doesn't happen. They have to learn this kind of thing. So you always have to start with something bigger and work to a smaller item. They need to know where that ball is going to fall. In relative, to, in relative to them, so that they can be there at that point of interception, so that they can catch it. Sounds all very smart, doesn't it, when you have to say it out, out loud, but that is generally what happens. So they're smarter than you think. So yes, now that we have the hang of this one, we're going to move to something smaller. So, we've gone from this one, and we've probably gone to something half the size, so a tennis ball. doesn't come back and hit me in the face. Ready? You're going to catch this one. Back. Ready? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. Back. So up so it's got plenty of air time. Yeah. So he can make up his mind what, he's, what he plans to do with it. Back. Up. Yes. Good boy. Thank you. Back. Yes. Good boy. Thank you. Back. Good boy. Yes. Okay. Not all of them are going to be perfect, but obviously if he's catching the majority, then you know he's sort of got the hang of it. So then you want to go to something smaller. So what's smaller than that? A biscuit. Nixie, no. <gasps> so we have, for his delights today, chicken. So can you catch a bit of chicken, Nixie, no? Are you ready? I'll start with a bigger one. Ready? Ready? Two. Oh, that came straight back. Back. You see, look, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, good boy. So, exactly the same as you would with the ball. Chuck it up so it's got plenty of air time so that he can decide how he's going to catch it. One, two, three. Nice, good boy. One. Two, three. Yes, good boy. Two, three. Ah, right, ready? Two, three. Oh, we missed that one. It's alright, we'll allow one miss. Back. It's so we've worked down from a nice big ball down to a little bit of chicken. 
So I will do exactly the same with Coda. You coming to play? Coming in. Where's he going? Ooh, gonna catch it. Two, three, catch. Yeah, come here then. Once we've got the hang of this one, we're going to go to something smaller. I'm going to catch this back to catch. Yes. To catch. Good. Ah. Catch. Nice. Two, three, catch. Good. Back, back, back. Two, three, catch. Missed that one. Back. Two, back, back, two, three, catch. Yeah, good boy. So as puppies, before their coordination sort of kicks in, most treats you throw at them will sort of bonk them on the head. Coda was exactly the same as you can see here. I managed to get him in a few slow-mos as a pup, having treats bonk him on the head. It's all, all very common until you start teaching them to coordinate themselves. So teaching them how to catch, starting off with your bigger balls and obviously moving on to your smaller ones. Most owners think that this comes naturally to them and maybe for some breeds it does, but it's probably more of a case of a trial by error situation where the dog will have balls keep hitting it in the face. <laughs> so it will learn to either avoid the ball or to catch the ball in order to, um, in order to stop that situation from happening. So, yeah. That is how to teach your dogs to catch. You probably thought it was simple, but probably works out being just as hard as one of the other tricks that I've been teaching you throughout the week. I will leave you to it. Don't forget to subscribe for me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. So I'll start whistling a little bit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you cheeky sod.